what's up with the hands? Why do, why do the why are the hands like did you get your nails done and you need them to dry a certain way? Why why so much of that going on? What is going on guys? Ninja Review. This is our fourth day in a row, our eighth Ninja Review in 10 days and there has been a lot of crying but that is okay. Today we are reviewing a video by Heroin Skateboarding. It's called Swollen Full Video. And I noticed down here that we reviewed them before. Why are we reviewing them today? Well, mainly to get off of the Thrasher YouTube channel. But I also got a DM from Andy that says, Gotta hear your thoughts on this crap fest. So I skimmed through it and I decided it was unwatchable, but the last video part of any video is usually the best, so it at least deserves a full watch, rewind, and play. And I really liked that thumbnail. Nolan, Hofton, I might be saying that wrong, Hoten maybe. They tried to trick how steep that was by bending the camera sideways. Big backside air right there, so we are already off to a great start. Early grab, foot on the ground going down something that would have been much harder to Ollie, and then he had a very feminine stance as he rolled down that little hill, got the fat board, filming's kinda weird, that was a really nice front shove there. So, not all gonna be negative comments, but mostly negative comments. A lot of hands on the board, feet on the ground I was noticing in the whole video, a lot of them building their own park so that they can cater to the things they wanna do. Also, you gotta love the fake stees there, and the fake stees for this guy, Again, weirdly feminine. Watch this. What, what is this all about? Leaning back to suck a dick, I imagine. Going up for the blunt. Couldn't do a blunt fake. He had to grab the skateboard. Couldn't do the regular nose pick. Had to grab the skateboard. Sweeper to fakey. Another feminine. Look, what's up with the hands? Why, do, why, do the, why are the hands... Like, did you get your nails done and you need them to dry a certain way? Why? Why so much of that going on? I don't know. Really like that skid right there. Um, I have a trick tip on that. I think either Richie did it or somebody did it on my channel. Really cool. Going up, carving around. That was, even with the hand grab, that's fucking gnarly. That was really cool, in my opinion. Early grab? Was that an early grab? Please, guys. I know, I know getting real air is hard, but it's learnable. People have been doing it for a long time. If you can't 360, just learn 360. No need to take the, the coward's way out. Couldn't get the full tail slide there. Had to come off early, ride up and ride down. Oh my god. It's like, it's like, uh, there's there's a lot of skateboarders that really kill this, this style of skating. You know, the bowls and sort of the DIY stuff. And then there's the easy, like, autistic version of it. And I, I... I've skated with a lot of these DIY guys, right? I've skated a lot of the backyard ramps, the pool guys, a lot of those in Las Vegas and Arizona, a lot of DIY, like, uh, like big culture here. But the whole like grabbing the skateboard all the time and then, and then using the skateboard to do a big flip, which you otherwise never could have landed. And then, yeah, the, the trick was too hard to go. Like, is, is it parkour? Is it skateboarding? I mean, I'm sure these guys would say, well, there's a skateboard within 10 feet, so it must be skateboarding. In, in which case, then, yeah, the Gumiagis are fucked because half of their skateboarding is them walking on, like, a, a flat bar or, or walking on a tightrope or something. Then again, you don't want to discourage this because a lot of people would call it creative. Again, my opinion is it's kind of taking the easy way out. There's, you know, there's perfectly good skate part, like, skate spots here, but, you know, that guy's not going to skate the rail, right? He, that guy's not going to ollie over this rail. There's no way he was going to front blunt kickflip off on the flat bar. So he had to do the, well, let me do the, the tiny shove that rolls across the ground. And as it's shoving, I'll jump over the rail. Okay, cool. That, that, that's creative, I guess. Uh, you, could, you could never convince me that this is a pro skater. You know, you could never convince me this is a video filled with pro skaters. Maybe it is. Maybe they get paid. Maybe someone's out, like, supporting this. They, they have to be somehow popular, right? This video has, what, 12,000 views? Like, someone out there cares, but it's it's certainly not... The videos aren't made for me. I really loved this thumbnail, and that was a cool trick, even though it broke all the rules. Uh, and that was interesting, minus all the weird tic-tacs at the end and lack of control. Huge back three. I, I can... Anyone can appreciate that. Especially because it doesn't have the early grab. And what do we got here? 
The hand flip on the way out, and I like the way that he landed that one, because you can tell that it was landed on purpose, right? Flipped it, kind of caught it, landed shoulders down, and you notice there was none of this weird, like, none of this, because he couldn't afford to do that, because he really actually did land the trick clean. And I would imagine for him, that's a hard trick. And when the final trick in your video is done on a four foot spine at a skate park, um, yeah, it's, it's just something that I'm going to judge. So listen, I already knew I wasn't gonna like this video, but far be it from me to tell anyone, quit doing what you're doing, because for these guys, someone out there cares. A lot of people are buying these boards, I would imagine. I checked out their shop, trying to figure out how long this brand has been around. I couldn't figure out much information on that, but as someone who has a YouTube channel, me, that a lot of people hate on, a lot of people tell me, you're not funny, this is not entertaining, you should quit. As someone in that position, I don't think these guys from Heroin Skateboarding should ever let someone like me bring them down, because they are certainly well respected amongst the people that care. And I guess that's that's the point, right? They've carved out their little corner of skateboarding and they are owning every single piece of it. So I bet you guys thought this was gonna be the ending, just me talking shit. It's not. There's plenty of room for diversity in skateboarding. These guys aren't gonna quit doing their feet on the ground, hands on the ground, and I'm not gonna quit making videos where I make jokes about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Send me some recommendations of well-established, like professional video parts and like actual big brands, actual brands that people care about. The direction for Ninja Review is changing a little bit. If you have like your neighborhood kid who wants to get sponsored or whatever, go back, watch the old episodes of Ninja Review. Inside those is the actual like instructions as to how to submit a video of you guys for critique, but I'm having a really good time just reviewing. I, again, I, I say pros, I don't know why I'm explaining that on this video, because again, I kinda, I kinda question the legitimacy of these guys' title, but then again, who cares, you know? If, I, if you guys are allowed to hate on Revive, I'm allowed to hate on this, and you guys are allowed to hate on me. So for our fourth Ninja review in a row, and by the way, those other three haven't come out yet. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of tears. For this being the fourth one in a row, I feel like we are finishing strong, or at least we're finishing with an idea that you guys can get behind. Anyways, make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and uh, we upload five videos a week here on Ninja Lifestyle, so subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. Try not to inflict maximum algorithmic damage. And if you want to know what that joke means, follow my second channel, Steve Hates Skating. Kuna Matata, bitches.